Hey guys, it's Brian and welcome back to another Firebird Friday. Today, we're letting the motorcycle pass us. Okay, so uh, back to what we're doing. Today's the day we're putting back in the rubber bushings and the ball joints and the suspension on our 67 Firebird. And uh, that'll be one uh, step closer to getting us back on the, uh, the ground. And oh, yes, I'm gonna show you something. Buddy Nolan, he's a great young man out in Texas, designs these rowdy rooster shirts. I got me one. I think you guys need to get one too. They're pretty cool. Him and his dad actually have a YouTube channel as well. I'm gonna link to their merchandise site below by its shirt. Go check out their YouTube channel. They're restoring a 68 Firebird, if I remember correctly. Go check them out. That Turning and Burning, the name of that one. So watch my video first, though. Wait, wait. Watch mine first. Watch it all the way through. Like it, subscribe it, comment, do all that fun stuff. Then go check out Nolan's merchandise and him and his dad's YouTube channel on that 68 Firebird. So uh, enough of this and more of this. Let's go. All right, so we are now going to install the uh, lower new bushings. And this one goes there. And the bigger one goes over on this side. In, uh, I believe it goes in like that, or is it going like this? No, it must go in like that. Yeah, going that way. This one goes in that way. So what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of uh, all-purpose grease right here and right here on both this side and this side over here, kind of ease pushing them together. So, just a little there. Just grease it up there. All that in there. Go ahead and get this kind of squared up. I believe this out of the uh, ball joint kit will be the one to uh, best press that in. So, go ahead and get this installed. Just had to give it a little effort. We've greased up the uh, inners without the bore. And we're gonna kind of just set this into place here. Then, I'll we'll go right there. I meant to do that. That will go in there. And I believe, here will be the one I use. Now it's the delicate balancing act of getting all of this together. There, so that's there. Make sure that that's good. It is my 22. Be right back.
All right, guys, one part of the video I did not show you on those lower control arms was when I installed the ball joint. And uh, that's because I didn't install the ball joint. I could not get this son of a gun in uh, with my kit, my tool kit for uh, pressing these in. So I had to take them to a local machine shop um, to get these pressed in. Everything else I did myself, but I had to have the ball joints put in for me. It cost me 25 a piece, so 50 bucks, which I thought was a little too bit high for bloop, bloop, and done and out the door. But, you know, gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. But, so other than that, um, if you know of a better way to put these in than I did, and I tried for a couple hours to press them in, couldn't get them in, tried beating them in with a hammer, no good. So, machine shop, 50 bucks later, and we have A arms now ready to install in the car in our next video. So let's continue on and let's get to those uh, upper A arms. Let's rebuild them. All right, so here's our control arm, our upper control arm. And let's get some stuff here. Huh. Upper ball joint, gotta have that. Okay, then these are the uh, two suspension bushings for that top control arm and they go in right there. So with that, um, let's get putting this together. You're gonna need that bar. So uh, let me grab that bar real quick, that suspension bar. All right, so got a suspension bar. Gonna take all this apart real quick here. Take those apart. So here's our bar. We're gonna have to put the bushing in, kind of like this, then push that bushing into there, then put the next one in there. And the way I like to do it is put a little bit of grease on here to help it go in. That'll get it into there nice and, and put a little grease inside here to get this to slide on. So uh, let's do that. Take a little bit here. That. A little bit of grease on this. So then we'll take one of those bushings, kind of stick it in there like that. Actually, we'll put that in there. This goes into here. Get that kind of sandwiched up. And then we're gonna drive that down and lock it into place here real quick. So let me grab a persuader. That's a socket and a hammer. Okay, so I have a, what is this bad boy? This is a 36 millimeter socket and we're just going to tap this bad boy in put it up on there on that ledge and we just want this to come down and seat on the bottom of that all right here we go I'm on that lip right there. Come on, come on. Bit of a torsionist. Almost one more good knock. One more. It's right there. One 
more, but what? There we go. Nice solid head. Okay. Same thing here. We'll grease up the inside of this and the bore. Then, just want to put a little inside that bore. Good. Get that into place here. I'm gonna push it down as far as it'll go. Clean your fingers from all that uh, grease. Put our persuader on there. Let's go back and make sure we mount this correctly. One more for good measure. See, I'm getting rowdy. Like a rowdy rooster. Thanks, Nolan. Cool shirt. All right, so we got it in. That is now in there. Now we just need to put in those uh, bushings here. Take those, screw them in. I'm going to put these finger tight. Come on, come on. Find the hole. There we go. Don't need more of that grease. Put this one on this side. We want that one oh, that's good right there and turn our attention to this ball joint right here upper ball joints are much easier to install than the uh, lower ball joints a little bag of goodies The way this works is, got your castle nut right here. This slips down, see the bolt pattern? Match the bolt pattern up. And, uh, you know, pretty much a business here. Then these screws, put a washer on the top, send it down in there. You got a nylon nut over here, along with another Get that in there. Kind of get this one started real quick. Then I'll take another one, another washer. Drop that in on this back side. Get it down in there. Again, another washer, another nut. Put it in there like that. Take that washer, that nut. Get it started. Alright, so that's two of four. 
get another one. Drop it in. Get another washer. Put that on there. Take this nut. Okay, and our last bolt should be four. Again, another washer up on top. On the bottom, washer. And then that. Sweet, okay. So, we now just need to uh, tighten these all down. So uh, let me get some tools and we'll tighten those down real quick. Right. All right, let's see here. Let's go with this one first. Did I grab the wrong size? I think it is. Okay. Here on that bottom one, good. We got this one on the top. We'll just tighten these down. I don't tighten it down too tight, just kind of snug. Matter of fact, I'll probably back that off just a bit. Make sure we get this to sit down correctly. This is here. Shorten this up a little bit here. There we go. Hold on to this. deep one or a small extension. There we go. And get out of there. Looks like it's sitting pretty good, so we'll go ahead and we'll take care of these other ones. And this back one right here. down I think torque on these is like 15 16 foot pounds but it's there it's sitting in the place you got your castle on here you also get a grease zerk so we'll go ahead and we'll get that into place here and let's see if I have not going to be that size this explains why I had the wrong one on earlier It's that one. So we'll go ahead and just tighten this down. All right, that's 
good. Now we'll grease that up in a little bit. And we have our cotter pin for later. So uh, we now have an A arm, upper control arm, ready to go back in the Firebird. So we'll do the other side, and uh, I think we'll be ready to put these in next week. So uh, let's find out. All right, guys, I know a short video, but uh, it was Thanksgiving week and didn't have a lot of time with family and stuff to do Firebird stuff. But at least we have the bushings and the ball joints on those control arms. So next week, hopefully we can put those together, get that spring in there, bolt up the spindle, and maybe even get tires back on this thing and drop her back to the ground. I'm looking forward to it. Um, still waiting on my shocks to arrive, but I have everything else but shocks. They should be in next week. So you get some time. Uh, again, check out Nolan's merchandise. That would be a really cool, big help. And uh, check out him and his dad's Firebird uh, YouTube video or channel as well. I'll put a link down below. Everything's down below. Check it out. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you next Firebird Friday. Bye.